Hello and thanks for joining us today. I'm Ben Lack and I'm here to bring you up to speed on the latest daily energy news. Duke Energy has acquired a one megawatt solar farm on the grounds of Martins Creek Elementary School in Murphy, North Carolina. Over 4,000 ground mounted solar panels are expected to generate 1.3 million kilowatt hours of electricity annually. That is enough power to power 150 average sized homes. The installation is the third largest solar farm on a school property in the U.S and the fifth solar farm for Duke Energy. The Department of Energy is offering $1.2 billion to support the California Valley Solar Ranch Project by SunPower Corporation. The 250 megawatt project will be built in San Luis Obispo County, California, and it will produce sufficient electricity to power up to 60,000 average sized homes, offsetting nearly 430,000 tons of CO2. The ranch will be among the largest utility-scale photovoltaic projects to use tracking technology combined with a new tracking system. BioEcon has raised 1 million euros from existing shareholders to build a prototype of a fuel cell to convert cellulosic biomass into electricity, dubbed BICEPS, or Biomass Conversion to Electrical Power Systems. The project is being developed in cooperation with Eindhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands. The goal is to turn the waste into power that can be used as a transportation fuel. Hydropower may have gotten some attention from the U.S. Department of the Interiors, but there have not been plans to build new hydroelectric dams. Instead, the agency wants to generate additional electricity by adding the hydropower capacity at 70 of its existing dams. Although new dams will generate electricity, there is a great deal of unnecessary environmental damage when water flow is disrupted. The Department of Interior wants to generate up to 1 million megawatt hours of electricity each year. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack.